At the end of this video, you will learn exactly how to use the Python Lambda function. To support us, you can subscribe to the YouTube channel and like the video. So let's start. In short, the Lambda function is a small, anonymous function. Let me explain what I mean with an example. I am creating a function. I will send two parameters to the function. Then I will multiply these two parameters and show them on the screen. I am sending two parameters to the function. The results of the multiplication operations are shown on the screen. I can do the same thing using lambda. I'm creating a variable. I am defining a lambda. First I determine the arguments and then the expression. In this example I will pass two parameters to the lambda. These parameters will be multiplied and the result will be assigned to the variable. I am sending values 10 and 20. The result of this example is no different from the previous one. The results of the multiplication operations are shown on the console screen. Let's do a different example. I'm creating a lambda that returns two times the number sent. The results are shown on the console screen. I'm creating a lambda that adds three numbers. I am sending three values to lambda. The results are shown on the console screen. Not only mathematical operations can be performed with lambda. We can make examples with string. For example, I create a lambda that combines first and last name. I am sending two string values to lambda. The results are shown on the console screen. Lambda and if queries can be written together. I'm creating a lambda that checks for age. If the sent value is greater than 25, true will be returned, otherwise, false will be returned. The results are shown on the console screen. In this Python tutorial, we learned how to use Lambda function. To support us, you can subscribe to the YouTube channel and like the video.